Right, let me start from here. Huh? Okay, so uh, we are given this question and we are asked to solve. And as I said before, if you have to solve, uh, the first thing you need to do is you have to get rid of the square root because it's a very big hindrance. So we get rid of the square root by squaring everything. Okay, we square the left side and we square everything on the right side. Okay, now the left side is easy because everything, this y minus 8 can dua dua di bawah third. So if everything is under the third, the third and the square will cancel each other out and you will just get y minus 8. It's very simple, nothing to think about. As long as everything is under the square, you can see square, uh, sorry, everything is under the third and you can see square, you just get y minus 8. Okay, but this is the big problem because the y is the only one that is under the third. Dua ni tiada, dua dia bebas. So what you will have to do is third y minus 2 and then third y minus 2. You have to do it twice like this. Okay, so do this outside lah. So third y times third y, uh, you will get y because they are last square of the same thing. Okay, third y times minus 2, you cannot really do much. So it's minus 2 third y. Okay, minus 2 third y. Minus 2 times third y will give you minus 2 third y. And minus 2 times minus 2 will give you positive 4. Okay? Now, since these two are the same thing, so we can do like minus 2 minus 2. So what you will get is y minus 8 equals to y minus 4 third y. Sebab tolak 2, tolak 2 is tolak 4. Third y kasih biar. Okay, dia sebutan sejak plus. Okay, now before you think about doing anything else, let's try to simplify this first lah. Okay, so I bring the y and the 4 across. Saya kasih tinggal lah ini, di sebelah kanan. So I will get y minus y. So ini y saya bawa sebelah, dia akan jadi minus. Minus 8, and then this one will be minus 4. Equals to minus 4 third y. Okay, I leave the minus 4 third y on the right side. Y minus Y, good news, disappear, so kosong. Minus 8 minus 4 will be minus 12, equals to minus 4 third Y. Okay? Something can still be done. You can bring the negative 4 across. See, you get minus 12 divided by minus 4 equals to third Y. Okay? And this one will give you 3. 3 equals to third Y. And... Untuk menghilangkan ini set, kita kasih kuasa 2, everything. Okay, therefore y will be equal to 9. Okay, this is probably the easiest form lah. Antara soalan yang boleh dikira agak senang lah. Okay, for solution of sets. Okay, but the most important skill, okay, that you need to know, at least to get you to start lah, okay, is if you are asked to solve and you are given a situation where there is set lah, you have to hilangkan the set. And you hilangkan the set by squaring the entire thing. You square the left side and then you square the right side. Okay, then after that, you try and simplify, 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 simplify. Of course, as I said before, this is a very easy form. Okay, ada lagi, ada lagi equation yang jauh lebih susah daripada ini. Jauh lebih complicated. If we have time, I will go into that. But if not, I just want to remind you uh, uh, for this revision lah. Okay, saya mau ingatkan kepada kamu bahawa in order to solve any equation that involves thirds, you need to square both sides. Okay, that's the most basic one. Okay, you need to square both sides because you want to hilangkan the set. Okay, the only uh, kekurangan is kalau equation kamu kan sebelah ada set, sebelah tiada, then you have to do it twice macam. Okay, you just have to do it twice because you're squaring it lah. Okay, but if everything is under the set, no problem. Kasi hilangkan saja itu set. Sebab set square akan saling mengcancel. Okay, that's the first question. Next question. You are given, okay, 2 to the power of x equals to m, 2 to the power of 3y equals to n, and 2 to the power of x plus 3y equals to 8 plus 8 to the power of y. Very long lah. Okay, then after that you said you express n in terms of n. Now, this means uh, express n in terms of m means that your final answer must be n equals to yada, 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 yada. There's somewhere inside here, I've got the letter m. Only m. Okay, no n. Okay, this is what we want. 
So whenever you see questions like this, the first thing you need to say is, okay, bentuk jawapan yang saya mau adalah N sebelah kiri, the rest of the world sebelah kanan. Okay, that's the most important thing. Okay, so since this is simple, this is simple, we always start on a complicated one. Okay, so we start with 2x plus 3y equals to 8 plus 8y. Now, this is a very big problem huh? because CD, the base is 2. But over here, the base is 8, okay, which is like, huh? Okay, but if you remember, as I said before, 8 is actually a magic number. Yang ada kaitan dengan 2 because 8 is actually equals to 2 to the power of 3. Okay, so I can change all these 8 huh, to become 2 to the power of 3. So I get 2 to the power of x plus 3, right? equals to 2 to the power of 3 plus 2 to the power of 3y. Okay, so about the, uh, in the indices will multiply. Lah. 2 to the power of 3y. Now, when you come to this stage, okay, I don't want you to, oh, ini kan tambah, jadi kita kasih darab dia punya index. Tiada kaitan langsung. Okay, you cannot, <laughs> yeah, you cannot, 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 cannot do that. Uh, okay, please don't do that. Because the plus is plus the two bases. Bukan plus index. Tiada kaitan. Okay, you can only change to plus kalau the, the, the operation here is multiply. Okay, so the question is, okay, jadi lepas ni apa yang kita mau buat? Macam mana? Okay, so let's make it simple. Uh, because we want to find a way to substitute this in. Okay, so let me split this up first. Huh? So this is 2 to the power of x okay, times 2 to the power of 3y equals to 2 to the power of 3 plus 2 to the power of 3y. Now if you notice, huh, 2 to the power of 3y is actually n. So that means here I can replace n, here I can replace n. 2 to the power of x is m. So this is m. m times n equals to 2 to the power of 3 plus n. And then now suddenly we find that this work becomes so much more easier. Okay, m n sama dengan, okay, I'm going to change this back to 8 lah, since it's pretty useless. 8 plus n. Now, saya mau ubah ini supaya jawapan saya adalah n sahaja sebelah kiri. So, I bring the n across. So, mn minus n equals to 8. Okay, some of you may already be able to see the light at the end of the tunnel. You factorize the n out, you get m minus 1 equals to 8. You bring it across, you get n equals to 8 over m minus 1. Express n in terms of m. Means saya mau n sebelah kiri, and the rest of the world sebelah kanan, asalkan ada N. Okay, N sebelah kiri, the rest of the world sebelah kanan, asalkan ada M. This is our final answer. Okay, oh yeah, actually yeah. Um, I don't know whether people have said this to you, but I just want to tell you uh, that uh, whenever you answer and question an exam, okay, if you have the final answer, leave it alone. Okay, <laughs> yeah, this is actually a very bad habit. Even I also do it lah, but I mean, it's a good idea for you to remember this and to start it now. Ah. Jangan gariskan jawapan akhir, begini. Okay, it's a totally, it's a totally, uh, it's a totally noob move lah. Okay, memang kamu sangat noob lah ni kalau kau buat begini lah. Okay, so jangan. Uh, don't do this and, and the worst, yang lebih teruk daripada ini adalah Kalau kamu buat begini, please. Our tic tac toe friend yang macam ni. Uh, ini pun saya selalu nampak orang buat begini. Okay, don't ah. Totally, it's a totally noob move. Okay, jangan kamu jadi noob. Okay, just leave it alone. Kalau kamu sudah dapat jawapan akhir, that's it. Don't have to gariskan. What do you think this is? Standard one lah. No need, no need, no need, no need. Okay, just, if this is your final answer, leave it alone. Okay, cukup. Don't need to say I'm done. Don't need to say. Don't need to write anything. Don't definitely don't garis 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 garis. Don't don't. don't. Okay, uh, it's a very bad habit. Totally no move. Saya tidak suka ini. Okay, so please don't do this. Alright. So, uh, apa yang kita boleh pelajari daripada soalan ini? 
Okay, the one thing that I want you to take away from this question is this number eight. Okay, whenever you're given an index equation and the two numbers are not the same, you need to find a way to make sure that they have the same base because index laws of indices only work kalau dia punya base adalah sama. Okay, semua mesti base two, baru boleh jalan. Okay, and if you notice, uh, actually these are clues already given in the question to help you. Okay, 2 to the power x, 2 to the power 3y, means you somehow have to change this 8 uh, to become base 2. Okay, and number 3, of course you have to remember the fundamentals like this. Uh, 2 to the power 3 is 8. Okay, um, usually kan, base 2, uh, okay, 2 to the power 1 is 2, 2 to the power 2 is 4, 2 to the power 3 is 8, 2 to the power, yeah, point 2 to the power 4 is 16, 2 to the power 5 is 32. Okay, usually these are numbers that we kind of want to look out for. Like 2, 4, 8, 16, 32. Follow their base 2. Okay, there are other more, I mean, you know, there are a lot more. Like what if you see 9? Uh, 9 is actually 3 to the power of 2. Or sometimes 16, uh, got think of, 16 actually is 2 to the power of 4. 16 can also be 4 to the power of 2. Okay, can also be this. It depends on what is the base that you want to use. Lah. Okay, tetapi kebiasaan lah, okay, kebiasaannya, especially at form 4 level, most of the times we will test base 2 and base 3. Okay, 3 to the power 1 is 3, 3 to the power 2 is 9, 3 to the power of 3 is 27. Uh, these are basic numbers that we will always see. Uh, I think 3 to the power of 4. Yeah. 3 to the power of 4 is 81. And 3 to the power of 5 is 243. Okay, 243. These are 5 numbers that we usually see. Lah. Okay, and usually people will test you base 3 and base 2. Okay, these are 10 most common numbers yang kita akan jumpa. Okay, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, and 3, 9, 27, 81, and 43. So that's a good idea to memorize and remember. Okay, okay, 9 is 3 to the power of 2. So you know that, you know, you need to change your equation into base 3 ka, base 2 ka, little. Okay, that's the three things that I want you to learn from this previous question. Okay, uh, yeah, as I said before lah. Okay, um, if you have any questions, uh, okay, if you have any questions, you can always turn on the mic and say, excuse me, and then ask me the question. Uh, okay, if you want me to repeat anything, uh, that's why I'm doing this over Google Meet, because it's a revision session. Uh. If you want me to repeat anything, also do the same thing, uh, just turn on your mic and say, excuse me, and then I will entertain your question. But if you don't say anything, call diam diam, sejak begitu kan, then I will just assume that you understand and I will continue lah. Uh. Okay, cause if you have no, if you cannot ask me a question, <laughs> you know, it's not my fault lah, okay, if you, if you don't ask me the question. Lah. Okay, let's do another one now. This is a solve equation. Solve equation means you want to find out what is the value of A lah. Okay, so you have log A625 minus log root A uh, for A equals to 2. Hmm, hold on now. Give me a moment. I think... Did I answer this question before? I feel like I have answered this question before. Uh, hold on, nah, just give me a moment. I think I have answered this question before. <gasps> oh dear. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I think I do already. But let's just give it a go. Lah. So, Whenever you ask to solve an equation, okay, it is always a, a good idea to think about making sure that the bases are the same. Okay, this is log base A, this is log base root A, which is a very big problem. Okay, because the base is not the same. So in order to make sure that the base is the same, you need to go back to the base formula. So log A, B, if I want to introduce a new base, it'd be log C, log C, the top number is B, the bottom number is A. Okay. Now, if you take a look, uh, this is base A, this is base root A. The logical one to be to change this. Lah. Okay, change this so that it is log A. So I'll get log A625. 
Okay, minus log A, log A. Okay, this will be 4A. This will be uh, square root of A. Okay, equals to 2. Let me leave it here as such. Okay, so the first step I do is I change the uh, the base. Okay, so that everything is log A, log A, log A. Then senang saya punya cerita. Okay, once we've done that, then we need to you know, settle this problem. Lah. Now, log a square root of a uh, is actually equals to log a, a to the power of half. Okay, square root of a is actually a to the power of half. Now, according to the third log law, this square, this, uh, sorry, this kuasa I can bring to the front, which is actually half log a a. And the beauty of this is log AA is actually equals to 1 because same number, same base. Half times 1 will give me half. So I will get log A, 4A over half. Okay, minus log A, 6 to 5 equals to 2. Okay, that's what I'm doing first. I'm changing this log A square root A to half. Now, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know, I know, don't worry. Take a, take a moment. Okay, after that, I don't like this bahagi bawah di sini, because it's very ugly. So what I do is, I multiply everything by half. Okay, saya so darab semua dengan setengah, supaya ini setengah di bawah hilang. So this will give me half log A625 minus log a 4a equals to 2 times half is actually equals to 1. Okay, 2 darab setengah lah equals to 1. Okay, now once you've done this, then you bring the half naik atas balik. Okay, this one saya kasih kekal saja lah. So I'll get log, wow, I need a lot more space. Hold on lah. Yeah, I know. This is a this is a very big problem when when I don't have a whiteboard gun. Color whiteboard gun. Three seconds already done. Or I'll just call somebody like Eldon or Sean. Okay, Sean, please uh, rub the whiteboard. Okay, done. Okay. All right. So let's sorry. Let's come back to this. Huh? So I bring the half on top. So I will get log a six two five to the power of half. Okay, minus log a 4a equals to 1. Now, 6 to 5 to the power of half, uh, if you press on your calculator, okay, you get 25. So this will be log a 25 minus log a 4a equals to 1. Now, because you are doing log a and log A, same base, uh, and it is connected by a minus, I can combine this using the second law of logarithm, okay, which is log A, 25 over 4A, equals to 1. Okay? 25 over 4A equals to 1. So, now, <laughs> okay, sabar, uh, sabar. Now, this is in log form, okay? And you can actually convert this into index form, okay? This A we bring across, so this will become A to the power of 1 equals to 25 over 4A. And you notice uh, that over here, it becomes so much easier already because this is index form. A to the power of 1 is A, Okay, so A equals to 25 over 4A. I bring the 4A across. So I'll get 25 equals to 4A squared. Oh, actually, you know what? Uh, okay, lah, fine. 25 equals to 4A squared. I bring the 4 across. 25 over 4 equals to A squared. And this will give me A equals to square root of 25 over 4, which gives me 5 over Oh, no, 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 jangan tulis garis. That's our final answer. Okay, yes, I know it is a long question, okay, and um, 
this is probably, as I said, lah, laws of logarithms lah, is, um, there are two ways to look at this. Lah. Satu, sebenarnya dia sangat complicated. Sebab everything is interconnected. Okay. Secondly is, you can look at it as a very beautiful thing. <laughs> I know it doesn't look very beautiful now. But actually it's very beautiful because there are so many ways to answer this question. Okay, this is only one way. I can think of at least three other ways to solve this equation. Okay, ini bukan cara yang paling senang. I think so lah. I don't know. Okay, it, maybe there's an easier way to do this. Okay, but this was the first method that saya baru fikirkan. Okay, there are lebih banyak cara sebenarnya. Okay, I can think of at least two or three ways to solve this same equation. You still get the same answer. A equals to 5 over 2. Okay, but that's the thing lah. Okay, in order for you, in order for you to really, really master law, okay, I mean this chapter, kalau kamu betul-betul mau kuasai bab ini, ya, you cannot, 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 okay, tidak hafal the laws. You have to remember the laws. Okay, because nah, kalau setiap kali kamu mau ini kan, kamu mau rujuk lah itu law. Law mana kah saya boleh pakai ini kan? Cannot, cannot. Okay, you have to memorize the laws. Memorize the indices law, memorize the log law. Sehingga dia menjadi sebati bah. <laughs> okay, until it becomes very sebati with you ah. Sampai kau tahu, okay, I can use this and I'll do this. I can use this and I'll do this. As long as you're always referring to the formula book ah, to find out what the law is, what the law is can, it's very difficult for you to master this. Okay, you have to know it by heart. Okay, macam sifir lah. Okay, like sifir 12 kan, 12 times table lah. Kalau sampai hari ini ya, sifir 12 pun kamu mau tekan pada calculator kan, is very susah. Okay, it, itu yang selalu orang komplain lah, eh susah lah, mad, susah lah, mad. Padahal sifir 12 pun belum hafal. Ha, cannot. Okay, some basic things lah, if you don't do something about it kan, no matter how easy I show it to you, it will always be difficult because you you know, you rely so much on formula book and calculator for the things that actually you're supposed to memorize. Okay. Saya belum pernah jumpa orang yang dia boleh menjawab soalan log kan for dengan selalu merujuk kepada buku formula. No. Okay. If you really want to master this chapter, kamu kena hafal. Kamu kena faham dan menghafal. Okay. The three laws of indices, the two laws of certs, and the three laws of logarithms. No choice. Okay. Some formula memang kamu kena, you know, kamu kena ingat balik. But log is not one of them. You have to know it. Okay. You have to do it without referring. Okay. Uh, we are at our halfway point. Hi, sir. Uh, which is at o'clock. Hi. Yes. Sir, yang tu log at 6 to 5, 1 over 2. Macam mana boleh jadi log at 25? Oh, Okay. So, you're talking about here. Thank you for the question. Huh? Sorry, I don't know who is asking me that, but uh, please let me know. Lah. Okay, so this 6 to 5 to the power of half, okay, saya tekan di calculator saja. 6 to 5 to the power of, make sure your half is bracketed lah. 1 per 2. Okay, sorry, I don't know if you can see this on the camera. Huh? But the half should be bracket. Then I press equals, I get 25. Can you try it? If you don't bracket your half, uh, you will get the, I think you will get the different answer. Yeah, you get 3, 1, 2, 1 over 2, bahkan. Uh, because the half needs to be bracketed. You, on your calculator, you need to type it like this. Uh, 6, 2, 5 to the power of bracket 1 over 2. Kalau kau tekan pada calculator, 6, 2, 5 bracket uh, power of 1, yeah, apa ni, power of 1 over 2 kan, Dia akan buat ini dulu, 6 to 5 to the power 1, then baru kau divide by 2. Itulah kau dapat jawapan kamu pelik-pelik. Make sure that oh. it is bracketed. The okay. power must be bracketed if you want to do it. Okay, thank you, sir. All right. That sounds like Faradila. Is it Faradila yang tanya saya soalan itu? Yeah. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay, sorry ah. There are some people that are coming in. Okay, any more questions uh, from anybody before I continue? No, no, no. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. Uh, all right, if there's no questions. Hmm. 
So, saya tidak nampak. Okay. I, I'm not sure. What are you seeing now? Uh, okay. So, now I am showing to you slide with question number five. Can you see it? Boleh, sir. Boleh, ya? Okay. Can, sir. Actually, Elden is the one yang tadi cakap dia tidak nampak. Can you see it, Elden? Can already. Okay. All right. So this is question number five. Uh, I'm going to continue lah, and I think I'm probably going to stop with this question because uh, I think four questions is kind of enough lah. Because the basic skills that I want you to learn uh, from here. Okay, so log a three, sorry, log base a three equals to x, and log base a seven equals to y. Okay, and then change log seven eighty one a squared. <laughs> yeah, super long. Okay, in terms of x and y. Okay, we want to express this in terms of x and y. Means uh, we want to find a way to put this 3 and this 7 inside lah, so that I can put the x and y in. Okay, but well, this is the problem. Look at this base and look at our base over here. What a big problem. Okay, so the first thing we have to do is if we want to put in the x and the y inside, we have to change everything to log base a. This is log base a, base 7. Okay, log base 7. Definitely susah. So we change everything to log base A. Log base A of 81A squared over log A7. Okay, log A7. Now, this becomes very easy really, because log A7 we know is Y. So you can put the Y inside here. Okay, and this one we can actually split it up. So, ini adalah 81 darab A squared. So, I can split it up into two. I will get log A81 plus log A A squared over log A7 is Y. Okay, tak payah. I mean, you can substitute, substitute lah. Okay, don't need to think so much. Okay, let's talk about this 81. Okay, 81 uh, as I said before, if you remember your previous exercise, uh, we have to find a way to manipulate 3 and 7 so that they boleh jadi 81. And the only way to do it is, you ex experiment lah, 3 times 3 times 7, contoh. Okay? I only get 63. Okay, cannot. Uh, 81. 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. Ha! Huh. 3 to the power of 4. Okay, so I will find out, I will get that log A81 is actually log A3 to the power of 4. Plus, okay, these two I'm going to bring forward. Lah. Oh, actually, no need, lah. let me do it first. Like this. Log A A squared over Y. Now, since these two have powers, I bring the power to the front. So, 4 log A3 plus 2 log a, a over y. Now, log A3 equals to x. So, 4x plus 2. Now, log A, a is 1. So, 2 times 1 is 2 over y. And this is our final answer. Okay. So, it's all about manipulating this thing. It's all about manipulating your equation so that it follows the law of logarithms. Notice uh, that I once, saya satu kali pun saya tidak refer okay, to the, the, saya tidak ada kertas pun di sini, apa itu law of You have to know it. Okay, you must know it. Otherwise, you know, kalau kau selalu kena bergantung kepada tongkat kan, susah untuk kamu berlari. Okay, wow, kata-kata hikmat tu hari ini. Okay, don't depend on tongkat. Okay, because this is the best tongkat you have, your own brains. Okay, now saya mau sebut satu perkara ha, yang selalu menjadi kebiasaan orang buat silap. Okay, a lot of people make mistake over here. Ha. Log A3 10 to the power of 4. Dia tidak kasih depan ini 4. Instead, apa dia buat this, dia pergi ganti X. So, dia tulis X to the power of 4. Ini salah. Ha. Cannot. Because the log A3 is X ha, hanya applies to this part sahaja. But the problem is, this 3 bersangkut paut dengan kuasa 4. Cannot. You cannot do ganti ini X and then kasih semuanya kuasa dengan 4. Ini salah. You have to bring the 4 forward. 
mengikut hukum log ketiga bawa empat pergi depan baru kamu boleh ganti ini log A3 dengan X begitu. That's why I get 4X. Okay, this is a very common mistake. Orang selalu letak ini sebagai X cross 4. Terus dia tidak tahu macam mana buat jawab sudah. Sedangkan ini sangat you know, jauh lebih mudah, jauh lebih simple. Okay, so uh, those are the four questions that I want to discuss with all of you today. Um, and uh, you know, just to help you to prepare for the PB, the PBD. I know there are another two more questions. Ah, saya tahu ada lagi dua soalan. Ah, uh, di dalam kamu punya uh, the handout that I give you. Ah, uh, the questions, the last two questions are slightly tougher. Okay. Ah, uh, and I would suggest if you want to answer, you can go ahead and answer. But if you don't want to answer, ah, uh, and if you want to, you know do some revision for your PBD, okay, I would suggest that you open your uh, workbook, lah. okay, open your workbook and, you know, it may be a good idea to answer page 51 to 53, okay, muka surat, eh, surat, muka surat 51 sampai 53, uh, just as, uh, you know, revision, lah. okay, for tomorrow, okay. I'm saying this uh, dengan banyak niat yang sangat baik lah. <laughs> okay, page 51 to page 53, it'd be a good idea for you to do a little bit of revision uh, from these pages. Habis kamu semua pun ada jawapan sudah. Okay, so if you find that you cannot answer, then it's okay, refer to the answer book and understand the working uh, that is happening in that question. Okay.